What's up, internets? This is Fuzzy Tolerant Screencast number... I don't know. But what we're going to do here is a state of the office report. We're going to take a look around the office, see what's different, see what's changed, see how I've got things set up now. I kind of like to see this type of stuff, like a life hacker's... I am so-and-so, and this is how I work kind of thing. Plus, I have no time, zero time, to do like a big, you know, coding kind of podcast right now. I've got stuff waiting on stuff that's underneath other stuff. So, we're going to take a look around the office. Maybe I'll just do this once a year, like every January State of the Office report. Hmm, think I'll remember that? The first and most important part of an office is, of course, the door. This door is still equipped with these custom hand-installed by me spring-loaded hinges. Oh, I love these. So, here we go. Watch this. Okay, we walk away. That just happened all by itself. That is a must in any office. Now, let's just move around the wall. There's a mic stand I don't really use very much. That is a brick. That is for holding up the spring-loaded door and for zombies. Whichever one comes first. Over here, we have janky plastic drawers. I don't know why I still have these. They're, you know, they're janky. But they work. I mean, it's fine. It's, it works. That's okay, right? Over here, we have some IKEA storage. This is like an expedite cabinet kind of thing. And uh, I used to have plastic bins here, so this is an upgrade this year. Uh, plastic bins, problem is, whatever you want is always going to be in the very bottom bin. So you're going to be like, whoosh, 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 flinging bin, bins all around your room to get what you want, and, and that's no fun. So, got this storage. It's really nice. It's, it's pretty cheap. I think the whole shelving system, which weighed like 83 pounds, but I could hold it up the stairs all by myself. So... Got this up on top here. These are some meditation cushions. I have like three stars now on like Insight Connect app, which means I'm like probably a better meditator than you. Down here we have uh, just some random crap. Here's a netbook I don't really use. Here's, ooh, this is pretty good. The iFixit uh, driver set. If you work on computers and small stuff, that's a really cool thing. Look, look, these are a stack of PlayStation games I have not played yet. That is how busy I am right now. Over here we have a, uh, this is a blue microphone snowball. This is a pretty good microphone, it's what I usually use in my podcast. Right now you're hearing me on my phone and you're getting the shaky vomit cam. Down here we've got, uh, this is a genius tablet. Is a Genius tablet as good as a Wacom tablet? No. Could you get a Wacom tablet anywhere near this size? For like $70? No. Then over here we just have all these storage bins with like computer parts and audio adapters and just crap. Moving along the wall, we have the... This is the wall of destruction. Okay, what do we have? You want to talk guitar stuff? We can talk guitar stuff. Do you? All right. Over here, this is a Line 6 Variax modeling guitar. Don't really play it. This is a Fender body on a Warmoth scalped neck with a canary fretboard. Really nice neck. Um, never got a Warmoth neck before, and it, they're, they're, it's like a work of art. It's very nice. But I haven't gotten around to changing out these pickups, so I don't really play this because these are stock Fender pickups. Stock fender pickups are shit. Over here, this is a Michael Kelly kind of Les Paul copy with this beautiful spalted maple top. Look at that. Oh. Don't really play it. Over here is what I play 90% of the time. This is a, a Yamaha Pacifica. Ironically, the cheapest guitar I own. But it's super well playing, great neck. Uh, I put some good pickups in. This is like a Duncan Custom Custom and a Duncan Hot Rails and a I think this is like a Demarzio Injector. 
And it's got coil taps here for these two pickups. Really nice sound, really easy to play. That's what I play most of the time. Over here, this is like a cheap seagull acoustic for when I need to go all Dave Matthewsy. And over here, if you need to bring the filth, this is a seven string Schecter uh, guitar with active electronics. These are EMG pickups. Filth. If that's the sound you're looking for. This is the guitar that may, that that's the noise that you'll get from this. So if you want to think of these as programming languages, uh, filth, that'd be like PHP. Call that Python, pure and pretty. JavaScript, secret. I kind of like JavaScript. These are like classic American guitars, so we'll we'll call these like C++ and C. And what would a line six be? A line six is like Perl because you can do anything with it. You just don't want to. Over here in the corner, we've got, uh, this is like just a little corner stand. And this is recycled because I recycled it. And by recycled it, I mean, I found it next to the dumpster and I took it home. Now. I, I have that same weird thing you probably have when you see something next to a dumpster and go, oh, I kind of like that. And then you go to grab it and you go, oh, am I about to take home garbage? But I took it home and I kind of like it. Over here, we have plants. I decided I wanted to try to have living things in here. I'm not sure I qualify as that. So these other living things, and it's really worked out well. They've been healthy. They've grown. I water them. I mean, it's... It's like I water them and they grow. It's, it's awesome. And it clears out nerd funk. If you have spring-loaded hinges and a nerd in a room, you have nerd funk. Nerd funk is not good. So get some plants. A chair, because you can't just stand all day. I know I'm a big standing desk guy, but you don't want to stand all day long. Probably like 70-30 kind of job. Plus, if you're doing something like a reading really long stuff or you're typing really long BS paperwork stuff it's a lot better to sit with that when you're coding and you're standing you like type a little and then you'll move around and you'll think and then like you've got some nine inch nails blaring so it'd be like mm, 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 mm. you'll be you'll be moving around and you know but when you're just doing that other stuff sitting's not a bad idea now for the desk the desk is good Actually, the desk is a long story. Let's skip to wall hangings. Wall hangings, we got Mr. Gandhi right there. See, see the resemblance? And over here, we have my Norman Rockwell, my favorite Norman Rockwell. I forget what it's called, but it's this old farmer guy. And this dog are like, this, this kid's about to go to college or something. And he's like bright-eyed and happy. And the old, the old farmer and the dog are like like somebody just shot them and that's to remind me to always every day appreciate my little boy that's why that's there speaking of which this is my other wall hanging we have a little nail here and when my boy gives me a drawing i'll stick it on there and and when he gives me a new one we'll trade them out this one look 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 at this he draws people with like heads and arms and legs and no bodies it could be kind of like an existential thing where he's thinking of people as thinkers and action things like hands and feet. Probably not. Probably just doesn't know how to run all bodies. You know what he told me the other day at a park? He said, Dad, apples can't climb. But if they could climb, they'd climb really well. Ah, genius. Okay, look at this. Here's the desk. Now, the big change in the desk this year, you remember this desk used to be way up in the air, so tall that most of you short people would have to chin up on it because I'm a tall guy. What I did is it's racked down to regular height and I bought an Ergotron WorkFit S. Now, what this is, is it mounts on the front of your desk and it weighs a crap ton. Mounts on the front of your desk, see it uh, has this big bar in the back and it's kind of this you know balanced weighted thing so you can have it at standing height like this or you can just apply just simple one hand pressure and have it all the way down 
to sitting height. That arm has your keyboard and your mouse and your monitors and everything. I got the dual monitor -y job because you know that's how I get, that's how I roll. So there is sitting height, and you just lift lift with your hand. Standing height, pimp. Got this little attachment for like your iPad or your notes or whatever you want to put there. Sweet. So that's that's how I'm doing standing desk stuff now. It's like 350 bones for that, which is a little pricey, but a motorized standing desk, the cheapest you're going to get is like a, a geek desk, and those are, by the time you ship those, those are like approaching a grand. Figured I'd try this to see how I liked it. It offers you a lot more flexibility because you can put it on any desk or you know mounting surface you want. And if I didn't like it and just had to have a standing like a, a, a geek desk, I'd just take this to work and use it there. But I really like it. I really, 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 really like it. Now, let's see, what else? Back here, some guys overcompensate with like, you know, Corvettes and, uh, I don't know, they go bald or something. Now, oh, now, this is how I overcompensate. Big computer cases. I change computer cases a lot. I've changed computer cases like twice in the last year and just dumped innards from one to the other. This is an NZXTH2, best case I've ever used. It's uh, super quiet, has built-in, you know, noise dampening foam and all that kind of crap. Really good, good smart airflow, good toolless design. Super, super great case. They call it a mid tower, but it's if this is a mid tower, then their full tower must be like a refrigerator because this thing is huge. Super, super nice, 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 nice thing. It's running like a quad core i5 and uh, like a NVIDIA GTX 460 or something. So it's not cutting gen, cutting, you know, cutting edge hardware, but I'm running like an SSD for the, the system partition and it's pretty smoking fast, pretty smoking fast. And I'm running KUbuntu. I'm running Ubuntu with KDE. I'm not really a big Unity or GNOME shell guy. And, and I need something more than like an XFC. So KDE, the latest four, like I think we're on 410 now. Maybe it's 4.9 and 4.10 is a release candidate. Yeah, I think I'm on 4.9 right now. Really fast, really smooth, really good stuff. Very stable. Dual monitor setup. These are just, you know, fairly cheap 1080p monitors. This one over here is 3D, so I can get my game on, you know. But uh, pretty cheap monitors. And these are... With this WorkFit S, you got to measure your monitors because you got about 22 inches this way for each one. And this is like, I could not fit any bigger monitors on there. They actually combine the measurements. So if you got like a small monitor here, you can get a bigger monitor over here. But, you know, you got to measure that if you're getting one of these. It ended up fitting like exactly, exactly about right. So that's the desk. Oh, well, let's talk audio. You want to talk audio? We'll talk audio. What I have in the audio chain is everything goes to this little Behringer mixer, which is a nice little mixer, stereo mixer. So I've got like my guitar stuff, my keyboard when I plug it in, my computer, uh, my PlayStation. Everything goes through that mixer, which means my PlayStation is running in stereo and not surround sound, which is kind of a drag, but I don't want to run speaker wire all over, all over this place. Goes into a mixer. Now, in between the mixer and the powered speakers, this is new. This is a BBE uh, Sonic Maximizer. I don't know what in the hell this thing does. It's it's like some of that science shit, but it takes the signal and it, it like makes it better. It's not like you know those cheesy 3D crappy you know Windows Media Player extension crap. It's a uh, it does, it says, you know, it does some sciencey stuff and it makes the high frequencies hit your ear before the low frequencies or the low before the higher something, but it just makes everything sound more detailed and better. I first found out about this. I had it in a guitar pedal and it just made it, the guitar sound great. This thing went on sale for like 50 bucks and I was like, stereo, huh? I could put that in between my mixer and my powered, my, uh, my monitor speakers and, uh, 
just get it on everything and my, even for music for everything super so i got that playstation this is this is the guitar rig i'm running a line six pod hd 300 uh it's all right you know people are like oh it's 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 like having you know a hundred custom you know super tube amps in your room it's really not but it's not bad and you know i don't have room for for a hundred custom tube amps or the money for it plus you know it's not like i'm rocking stadiums here so this is pretty good makes pretty good sound it's the best sounding line six pod unit i've ever tried with the h with the new you know higher end processing it's like a computer when you hit the power on the thing it takes like 20 seconds to boot up so hey it might be running a linux kernel the only pedal i run into the guitar other than the line six stuff is this bb optical compressor opto stomp it's really good if you don't know about optical compressors for a guitar that's where you want to go it's like compression without noise and without coloring your tone really good stuff i think that is pretty much oh oh almost forgot up here on the top we have some m audio monitor, uh, monitors powered speakers these are really good these are like uh, pretty flat studio monitors very good sound we have like my uh, eSATA backup dock with my backup drive that is a buffalo a router with DDWRT built in when it comes from the factory, which is awesome. And golly, I think that's the whole office. Oh, one more thing. My precious, the one ring to rule them all. Oh, one more thing. Keyboard. This is a Cooler Master mechanical key switch. Uh, keyboard like the CM Storm really good blue cherry me cherry mechanical switches like and this is a a thumbball Logitech wireless thumbball thing really good Re really good really good mess one thing on the Ergotron Workfit S needs is a bigger uh, keyboard mouse stand here you can see this is a smaller size keyboard that there's no number pad because I'm not an accountant and we're pretty much filling up the whole thing with just a a thumb ball and the shortened keyboard so they they sell like extras hey you want an even bigger keyboard tray we'll sell it to you wink wink but it should probably come with a bigger one out of the box that is it that is the state of the office report uh, there is at least a 12% chance I'll remember to do this again at the beginning of the next year because I you know, I change this crap out all the time. This is Tobin. Oh, oh, one more thing. February 7th and 8th, coming to North Carolina, Raleigh, the North Carolina GIS Conference. It's, uh, what do you call it when it's every other year, biennial? I think that's, that's a thing. That's not a lifestyle choice. But it's every other year, and uh, it's every other year. It's great. This year I'll be doing a presentation on HTML5. It's, this conference is a little different. They don't like say, hey, submit your abstract. What they do is they say, hey, here's what we want to hear about. Why don't, can you come talk about this? Which is makes it really, the, I was on the program committee one year. That's a lot of work. Cold calling people and saying, hey, you want to come to Raleigh in February? But uh, it's a really good conference, one of the best conferences I go to. It's super cheap. Uh, lots of meet, lots of great people. You get lots of great speakers from around the country. This year, Douglas Crockford is coming. He's actually giving a talk in the same session I am. I'm talking about HTML5. They're like, Tobin, can you talk about HTML5? And I was like, sure. And then I hung up the phone and I was like, boy, that's a pretty big subject matter. What am I going to talk about? I don't know. Plus, I'm giving a talk in the same session as Douglas Crockford, like the JavaScript guru genius made things like JS, Lint, and JSON I use every single day. Scared. A little bit scared. But it's going to be a great conference. If you can make it out, come see the session. Come say hi. Have a good time. And that's about it.
Boy, for not having much time, this wound down for a while. Maybe it's the puppet. This is Tobin Bradley for Fuzzy Tolerance signing off. See you next month.